It really does happen without fail. Every time we step out to do a little summon summon, uh, big news breaks, but uh, Minnesota Fighting Vikings welcoming back left tackle Riley Reef. Uh, he has agreed to a restructured deal. Uh, full numbers aren't out uh, as of yet, but not gonna lie, I, I was sort of looking forward to the Brian O'Neill left tackle dynasty, but I, I guess it is good that he stays in trench or right tackle where he's developed into the, one of the best young right tackles in the game. And it does give the Vikings a little bit of cap space. And frankly, Riley Reef, he didn't have any options. Like, he had zero leverage in the situation. His base salary was not guaranteed. As well as, I, I think that he realized that whatever he could get in free agency, whether it be from the Broncos or the Eagles or the Chargers, wasn't even going to amount to what the pay cut was going to be ballpark. As well as learning a brand new offense, brand new locker room, uh, two weeks before the season, didn't make sense. So, overall... I guess if it keeps Rashad Hill off the field, sure. Keeps Brian O'Neill at right tackle, sure. Right Lurif, again, is perfectly fine prime meridian in terms of average left tackles. But dude really needs to step his ass up and get his head in the game. Big time spots, big time games. It's premier competition if the Vikings want to go somewhere this season. So that's it. Again, without fail, whenever we step out, big news happens. Vikings restructure Riley Lurif. He remains a Vike for 2020. So skull. No production value.